Hey, welcome back everyone. How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So I think it's time that we talk about the Oculus Go. A lot of people have been asking me about the Oculus Go and uh, what are my thoughts about the Oculus Go so far. And I'm going to tell you right off the gate, if you don't want to watch throughout this entire video, the Oculus Go, it's the most immersive social portable VR experience and for the price range of two hundred dollars you really can't go wrong with this device this device is very simple to use you don't have to be tethered to a PC or some big giant large heavy gaming laptop this device has all the technology built inside of it and uh, that's the one unique feature about the uh, Oculus Go you have this one controller over here which works really well the batteries will last you for a long time don't worry about it uh, my only negative that I would give to this device it's the battery life the battery life it's really not that good uh, you got roughly maybe two hours of usage depending on what you're doing if you're using a lot of VR apps which I assume you're gonna be using a lot of VR apps uh, this device it's not gonna last you that long but I don't think you're gonna spend more than two hours on the VR to begin with you know however you can always plug it in you can charge it there is the uh, the USB 3C input there uh, right over here and you can plug it in and you can charge it you can also get the extended the, uh, USB adapter so you can have 12 feet or something like that where you can extend it so you can have it plugged in. They don't recommend that you have it plugged in because the whole purpose, the whole idea of Oculus Go is for you to be not having any wires connected to it. But uh, look, it's really not an issue. Uh, the batteries, they charge pretty fast. Uh, some people say it takes two hours to fully charge this device. That's not true. It took me about 20 minutes to 25 minutes to get to 75%. And 75% within 25 minutes, that's a pretty good charge for this headset. Okay, so uh, people like to exaggerate sometimes. It's not two hours, all right? I can tell you it's not two hours. It's roughly 25 minutes to 30 minutes to fully charge this thing, okay? Um, what else I can say? I have done a lot of live stream on a Facebook, and you guys definitely should follow me on a Facebook and uh, you should watch some of these live streams that I do via this uh, headset. Uh, one thing that I like about this device is the fact that all your friends on Facebook, all your families on Facebook, if they buy this device, if they buy Oculus Go, they will be able to connect with you. They will be able to share their experience with you in a virtual reality world okay like in the oasis world like in that movie ready player one uh... it's kind of a cool way of you going through facebook 360 pictures and videos so your friends can walk you through it your families can walk you through it showing you their photos and their videos in a very kind of unique way when they're doing so another cool feature is you can watch movies tv shows netflix together with your friends your friends could be anywhere in the world and you can connect with them with this device and you guys can watch the movies and the TV shows together through Hulu, Netflix uh, and also through a Oculus Cinema which is a movie theater where you go in with your friends and you guys can sit in the movie theater and you guys can kind of look at each other and you can uh, commentate on the movie and stuff like that there's also this place called the uh, oculus rooms oculus rooms to me is the coolest feature oculus rooms is this place where you hang out with your facebook friends and your facebook family all right you're not hanging out with somebody you don't know you're hanging out with your family with your friends these are your family and friends who are already on the facebook and i think that's what makes it so unique is if you are a heavy Facebook user, which I know a lot of people are, you know, it's a, billions of people are on the Facebook, close to a billion, I think. If I'm not correct, 
Mr. Zuckerberg. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's a lot of people on Facebook. And um, this thing right here will bring that social experience to you. Now, let's talk about another uh, thing that I like about this headset. First of all, this headset, it uses a very good lens. Uh, these are very high-end lenses that they're built inside. These are not like your Oculus Rift or the HTC uh, Vive lens. These lenses are really high-end premium lenses, all right? And they're using 2560 by 1440 resolution higher resolution than oculus rift okay and i gotta tell you i was blown away by just how clear and clean and sharp uh the oculus go looks it's much cleaner it's much sharper than oculus rift much cleaner much sharper than playstation vr okay I would say it's in par with Windows Mixed Reality, okay? It's in par with Windows Mixed Reality in terms of detail. And another thing that I noticed, when you put them on, you really don't, uh, don't feel any kind of judderness or any kind of stutter. When you put these headsets on, they work really smooth, really good. And uh, here, let me just do this really quick. And you don't notice any issues like you can move up and down left and right and it's really smooth okay and I like it I really do and when you put them on automatically they turn on okay right now the power you can see it's on uh, it'll turn off you can turn it off by just holding the, uh, the button and it's gonna turn off okay you do have a volume rocker right here left and right right there left and right and you also have the uh, the headphone jack, which I recommend that you uh, use the headphone jacks. They're right over here, I believe. Use the headphone jacks. I have my Beats Studio uh, 3, and I use my Studio Beats 3, and they work fantastic, all right? Let me fix my hair. There we go. <laughs> um, so... What else can I say about the Oculus Go? Oculus Go... To me, it's going to be a big hit, I personally think. And it's going to be a big hit for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's affordable. It's very cheap. It's a $200, and you're getting a really good social experience. This is not a gaming headset. This is more of like a social experience Facebook headset. And it's really cool. It's really cool. Believe me, guys. Another thing I want to talk about is the fact that, you know, when you put on your Oculus Rift, when you put on your PlayStation VR, when you put on an HD, HTC Vive, you know, it gets hot. It gets hot and steamy inside. With this thing, that's not the case. This one here doesn't get steamy, doesn't get hot, because it has a cooling built inside of it that keeps that headset cool. So that way you don't have any kind of hotness or heat coming through the through the headset so that way there's no fogginess it's very comfortable uh, I would say this is probably the best VR headset that I had owned and it's only two hundred dollars okay HTC Vive it's a more of immersive gaming experience but it's expensive HTC Vive it's expensive as hell you might as well buy an OLED TV if you're gonna go with the HTC Vive, because that's how expensive that thing is. Not to mention the PC that you need to buy. So, HTC Vive Pro and the laptop, gaming laptop and a desktop, it's equivalent to you buying the A1E OLED TV or Q9F. So, I wouldn't recommend this, honestly, guys. This is for everyone. This is highly, highly recommended. I, I don't work for Facebook. I'm not you know a Facebook employee but I'm just telling you this is from somebody who's independent and owns all of the VR headset this is highly recommended now before I end this video there's a couple more things that I need to say that I need to talk about uh, and that's regarding my YouTube channel and my Facebook now I'm pretty sure by now some of you have uh, noticed that 
Uh, I do have uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, that says Bipolar Chapa on there. And I did change my name to get to the Chapa. Get to the Chapa now. Uh, I did that purposely because my Facebook account was hacked and was intruded by various different hackers from Russia, from United Kingdom, from California, and it's been taken care of. Uh, they have addressed that issue. I spoke to Facebook, they took care of it. I did have to lose some friends, not purposely, but I did have to lose some of you guys on the Facebook because I was trying to protect you. I was trying to conceal your identity because if these hackers go in and they see who you are, my friends, they will go after you and then they're going to be uh, harassing you and hacking you and using misinformation against you. So I had to change my Facebook. I had to change my name in order to protect you guys from being hacked. Look, uh, this is part of the YouTube. You know, if you want to be, if you grow big like I am growing big and everybody's so bedazzled, how is it possible that this guy who's not even editing the videos and it's doing all of these things, how is it possible this guy can, can hit 22,000 plus? I'm going to hit 23,000 subscribers pretty soon. So quick, so fast. How is this possible? And that brings a lot of haters. Okay, uh, with every success, there's a jealousy. There's people who are jealous that I'm successful, and they hate the fact that I'm success successful with this. So they're going to try to bring me down, hit the dislikes, uh, and all of this other nonsense. Listen, guys, don't pay attention to that. Uh, don't even bother with that stuff. Don't engage with them. Uh, there's three rules you need to understand about these haters and these trolls and these hackers. Their idea is to get under your skin. Uh, they want you to reply to them. They want the attention. Number one, they're looking for the attention. And if you give them the attention, then they're winning and you're losing. Number two, don't reply to them. They want your reply. They're going to say all kinds of nasty things. And I know it's difficult. They're going to say all kinds of harsh, nasty things. But don't engage. The best thing you can do is ignore them. Let me worry about them. I'm going to remove them. I'm going to block them. It takes me half a second to do so. It's very easy for me to do so. And number three, don't worry about the dislikes. Those dislikes are coming from those people. Okay, And it's few individuals. Uh, a couple of them in England, northern England. Uh, one from LA, Los Angeles. We all know who that is. And his goons. And there's a couple of them in Russia. All right, that I know of, that this is what the Google told me, this is what the Facebook told me, this is what these agencies have told me. I cannot disclose any more information than that because they are investigating these clowns and they are going to be shutting them down one by one because it is a crime to be uh, cyberbullying, to be harassing people, to be using their identities. Uh, it is the law. I'm just letting you know, just so you know, I told you so. It is the law, and you break that law, they will track you down. I don't care how successful you are as a hacker, they will track you down, man. They do have cybercrime divisions. Federal Bureau has a cybercrime divisions, and they will track you down. Not right now, but six months from now, seven months from now, when you least expect it, they'll be knocking on your door. Just like I told you so. All right? So keep that in mind. All right? But listen, I'm only telling you this. And I'm speaking to my subscribers, my real subscribers, not the fake bots. I'm addressing this issue so that way you guys understand what's going on. Because a lot of people are confused. Oh, what's going on with uh, Mr. 4K Facebook? What's going on with all these dislikes? What's happening? Now you know what's going on. And if you see some parody videos, uh, that's what that is. Okay, It's the people, uh, they're pretty much... They're sick in the head, man. They have no life. They're, first of all, they're stupid. They're stupid because they don't realize what they're doing. It's breaking the law. Doesn't matter to me. I make money. It's going to matter to you because when they knock on your door, they're going to address this issue to you. They might give you a warning. They might not arrest you. But they will definitely knock on your door once they find out where you are, once the investigation goes through. 
all right because the Google is aware of who you are Facebook it's aware of who you are and they will not tolerate any kind of uh, intrusions like this look you wanna make videos about me make videos about me I don't give a shit make gazillions videos about me you wanna make fun of me make fun of me I don't give a shit make fun of me but what you don't do is you harass people you go into their Facebook accounts you try to use my name steal my identity you don't do that that's breaking the law you go to jail for that shit that's breaking the law alright and sooner or later you're gonna realize that shit that's harassment that's cyberbullying that's breaking the law but you wanna make videos about me you wanna dedicate your YouTube channel for me that's free advertisement be my guest make fun of me but what you don't do is you had tried to hack into my Facebook account you try to uh, use my identity and misfalsify information from my identity you don't do that shit okay that will get you in trouble okay and this is the last time I'm addressing this uh, crap alright this should be self-explanatory and it should be obvious okay so anyway like I said oculus go it's definitely a go go pick one up it's definitely worth it there's two versions you got 32 gigabyte versions which I have it's two hundred dollars plus tax two hundred twelve US dollars if you go with a 64 gigabyte version it's gonna cost you two hundred and sixty six dollars that's the US tax dollars now if you live in UK I don't know with the pounds it might be a little bit higher I don't know what the tax are taxes are rate on the UK United Kingdom so the pounds might be a little bit higher uh, and uh, if you live in Europe euros I don't know it might be a little bit more expensive I don't know but in US it's 250 plus tax 266 that's for the 64 gigabyte for the 32 gigabyte it's 212 dollars so there you have it. I highly recommend this headset. Go ahead, pick it up. You will not be disappointed. This is an awesome, awesome deal. And I think this is for everyone. So there you have it. Thank you for watching this video.